Hey everyone, this is Karan here back with a new video. Welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna make a review of a GSI, a very unique OS for project travel supported devices. The name is Descendant OS. This is available as a GSI for all the devices, all the devices which supports project travel. Our well, Redmi Note 8 supports project travel, so I have just installed this GSI on my Redmi Note 8. What are the features you get in this UI? What are the main features? Why it is called as a unique OS for every device? Make sure you watch this video till the end. I will try to show you everything. Now let's get straight to the video. Okay, so first of all, as I already or uh, am I already on the home screen? You'll see the home screen has no widget, not a single widget. Swipe down, swipe right, you don't get any Google Pixel feed. The default launcher which you get is I think Pixel, uh, sorry, Quick Step Launcher with these are the options you can use to customize your device. I have already applied the hide notch option and you can see it is perfectly working in my case. This is the main highlight, the brightness slider. This is the Samsung tile like one UI type of UI in this OS. Here at the top of the quick settings, you get the time and date and calendar type of things and SIM indicator. Here you get the battery percentage and from here you can edit quick setting tiles. These are the tiles you get and this UI is one of the different UIs which we have ever used in any other custom room. This is not a custom room, this is a GSI. So you can install it on any project travel supported device it at any cost. By default you get a maze file manager which is a very good thing. Other things like you get calculator, calendar, camera roll is the gallery app by default which you get. Music player which you get by default is phonograph. And sorry for the disturbance again. Music player which you get is the phonograph. Other things like Magic Manager is not pre-installed. Google Apps are not pre-installed. This is a GSI. The steps how to flash this GSI is already written on my website. You can go and check out from there. Let me show you some features. Firstly, let me show you the Geekbench score. I am using this GSI on my Redmi Note 8. Uh, and the Geekbench score which you get is 310 is the single core. 1349 is the multi core which is a very good Geekbench score not bad as we are using GSI and this is based on Android 9 you can see unknown descendant travel and as you can see I am using gestures so gestures are also perfectly working open camera is the by default camera app which you get in this custom room in this GSI and other things like when you go to settings let me show you some settings first network and internet Wi-Fi, mobile network, all things are same like other things. You don't get the extra, any extra thing like to customize this room, but in a, these sections, you have the option to customize your device. Like when you go to apps and notifications, you have the option to set up these things, notification, default apps, apps, permissions, etc. In display, you have the option of brightness level, adaptive brightness, sleep, Display cutout settings which is a unique feature, cutout style, you can choose to normal, immerse or hide whichever you like. Display cutout after that, display size, ambient display is available, I don't know it's working or not. You have the option to enable a dark theme also from here, simply click here and you can choose dark theme. Ascent color system icons, customization options are there and at last UI customization stock, square UI or descendant round affair. These are the customization options you get in display section. In battery section, you get some battery stats, battery management and at last battery icon personalization and battery light settings. So many extra features are there which you can use. In utility, you have the option to show quick setting tiles, titles. These are the titles you can enable or disable from there. Quick setting rows and columns you can change from here. So you can say the customization options are there, but in some extra section, in some main sections, network monitor options and recent spellings are also options are available. Gestures and buttons, you can see the thumb UI option if you want to use your device as a one as a one-handed mode then this feature is for you use uh, swipe up gestures as you can see i'm using working perfectly in my case you enable navigation bar multi-touch gestures are available if you want to use right left up or down gesture then this is a very good thing again playback control status bar gestures asp gestures are available other things like storage sound security and location everything is same 
at last google and system these are the things you get nothing else here but still this is a very good gsi and this is type of kind of different ui which you should try on your device google apps are not installed i have written a whole guide on my website you can go and try out from there how to install this gsi on your device if you want to try out a different ui so this was all from today's video i hope you like it thanks for watching goodbye see you in the next video soon